At the G20 Bali Summit, the latest construction achievements of the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway were presented. Many see it as a great way to promote Chinese high-speed rail. Why is that? The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is the first high-speed railway project launched overseas that fully uses Chinese technology, standards and equipment, and it's also the first high-speed rail in Southeast Asia. The line is 142 kilometers long, and its trains can travel at up to 350 kilometers an hour. It connects Jakarta, Indonesia's capital, and Bandung, the country's fourth largest city. There are four stations on the line. It cuts the journey time between Jakarta and Bandung from more than three hours to about 40 minutes. Building the line was a six-year effort by Chinese and Indonesian partners, and track laying was completed a few weeks ago. It will be open to the public next June. The most impressive part about the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is that it's designed to meet really high Chinese technological standards. High-speed railway technology is very complex, involving a lot of the very latest technologies, such as the communications and signaling system, the power system, and the control system. The entire line adopts Chinese high-speed rail technology and standards, which serves as a testament to the high quality and practicality of China's high-speed rail. China has no intention of monopolizing the core technology of its high-speed rail, but is keen to share it with other countries so everyone benefits. The Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway is one of the latest achievements of the Belt and Road Initiative and a powerful example of how China's high-speed rail is going global. As shown in this high-speed rail vision map, the China-Laos Railway has been completed and launched. The construction of a two-phase high-speed rail line linking Thailand's capital, Bangkok, with the town of Nong Kai is in full swing, and the line will also be connected to the China-Laos Railway. The unified adoption of China's technological standards for high-speed rail paves the way for further connections between ASEAN's high-speed rail network and China's network. That will promote tremendous cross-border passenger and cargo flow. Chinese high-speed rail has strengthened the confidence of Southeast Asians in working with China, building a two-way railway line to prosperity for China and ASEAN countries.